What is up all my fellow weebs and weebets? I am Anime Alex coming back again with another build video. Today we are going to go over the best heavy bowgun builds before sunbreak. If you are looking in if you are looking to get into using heavy bowguns, then please feel free to use these builds as per recommendation. And without further ado, let's get into the build videos. Keep in mind, we are using the same switch skills for each build, which is going to be counter charger and uh why wyvern like the default wyvern snipe mechanic we are also using demon pedalance 3 for all of our builds now let's get into the first build this is kind of a meme build uh before we get into our like serious builds and this build that i made is for slicing heavy bow guns uh i've used this build like on a couple of hunts before and uh i wanted to just show you guys like the build this this is probably not that great honestly and you should probably stick to using the standard light bow gun slicing but if you do prefer heavy bow guns over light bow guns then i made a slicing build for you guys and in theory in theory it should work just as great because you can charge it albeit maybe on some hunts you have to back and re equip and restock for slicing ammunition so uh we are going to go over the rampage slots we upgraded this for attack boost 2 obviously if you're going up against like and any aquatic species like any leviathans or water monsters piscine wyverns then swap it over to anti-aquatic species otherwise then just use attack boost two you get a two slot and 10 percent affinity on base and coming over to our ammo details you are going to be able to get slicing ammo on low and fastest with this build you also will have wyvern ammo which i will highly suggest you bring uh you also get paralysis ammo one on low and fastest so that's also really great and if in case if you do need to bring more ammunition feel free to either bring in your pierce ammo twos or your piercing thunder ammos thunder ammo or even normal ammo three so you at least have a decent amount of secondary ammo but i would probably just stick to using slicings and wyvern ammunition and then possibly bringing thunder piercing thunder ammo anyways we for our build we use three critical jewels as you see here to get our critical boost up to level three we uh we are using one tenderizer jewel we use two thrift jewels we use two quick load jewels two or three quick load jewels and three absorber jewels and the armor setup is vikelm s vike mail s valstrax braces anjanath coil s hunter's greaves s and our talisman is an attack boost level three with a two with two one slots in it so that's probably going to be the hardest thing you can really get and if you don't have it then just use a an attack boost level two with two one slots not that difficult to get with this build you will get attack boost seven critical boost three weakness exploit three spare shot three reload speed three recoil down three and ammo up level two ammo up level two is the amount of ammo up that you need to increase your slicing ammunition now going on to our next build is going to be our pierce build now i understand you can also use barry uh heavy bow gun but for this, I opted to use the Deora Grande. Why? Because it's a big revolver. Like, I, I know you guys in the comment sections always be getting on me for rotating the camera a lot, and I'm trying my best to not, but I just need you guys just to, like, look at this beautifulness, this, this beautifulness of a heavy bow gun. That's why we use it. Because, remember, if you're not hunting in style while also being efficient, are you really hunting at all? 
So we use the Deora as Grand, not just because it looks good, but it also performs really fucking good. You have a whopping 247 attack, which this is like some of the highest attack. The other piercing heavy bow gun that you can also use is Baryoth's uh, piercing heavy bow gun because it allows you to walk around while shooting, I believe, uh, pierce ammo threes, but it doesn't have the amount of raw this has. So if you don't mind staying in place and shooting like I do, then this is obviously going to be the best piercing build. You get a one slot and with our build we get no deviation low recoil and the reload is fast we also have it ramped up for kushala de aura soul uh, to give us 30 percent extra affinity the more that we attack on top of our base 10 percent affinity so we get 40 percent of affinity as long as we are constantly attacking which with piercing ammunition it is very easy to do so Go looking through the ammunitions, we are going to be using Pierce Ammo 3s, definitely. And we get five of them. So that's why we're not using Vikemail S Helm, is because we already have a lot of shots of Pierce ammunition that we don't really need anymore. And we you also get Paralysis Ammo 1 on average and fast. So that's a notable ammo, uh, you know, for CC. I guess you can also poison people using Poison Ammo 1. You get your cluster bombs and that and you get armor ammunition and you know what i just realized does the zenogar heavy boga not get cluster bombs that's so weird that's probably why it feels like the slicing ammunition runs out is because they don't have any cluster bombs they should really look into that in sunbreak but anyways coming back you can also use this for piercing water ammo and piercing ice ammo albeit the builds are very different but i will say that you should probably stick to using the light bow gun for your elemental ammunition needs instead of the heavy bow gun you also get wyvern ammo of course and that's basically all the goodies that this comes with it also gets wyvern snipe while also the Zenogre heavy bow gun gets wyvern heart i forgot to tell you guys that and for our setup we got the Rinoplos helm s we got the vike mail s we got the valstrax braces we got the anginath coil s we got the ingot greaves s and we have a fatal tempest talisman of earplugs level two ballistics level one with a three slot now the jewels that you will be required to have are i believe it is one sniper jewel which is actually surprisingly because most of the time you need two sniper jewels, but I guess this has a uh, left, right, mild and not severe. So you need one sniper jewel just to take it down to no deviation. You need a total of one quick load jewel to take it down to low. You need, or no, no, uh, you need one quick load jewel to take it down to fast. You need two absorber jewels to take it down to low recoil you need one pierce jewel three you need ooh critical no three critical jewels sorry one tenderizer jewel and i put two steadfast jewels in the anginath coil s as just kind of a free space uh just so i don't get stunned a lot obviously feel free to put a feel free to put another sniper decoration to get no deviation after temper which is probably something i'm gonna do you can also put in free meal you can also put in uh flinch free so just kind of use those two spaces as how you see fit sadly we we did not have enough two slots to make use of a ballistics level two but if you do have a ballistics level two decoration with a two slot then please use that because it's going to be better and honestly i'm probably going to swap out one of those steadfast jewels for a sniper jewel after this video is done but uh you get level four attack boost level three crit boost level three weakness exploit level three pierce up uh i have level three stun re resistance due to the steadfast jewels obviously if 
you don't really want to use them or you want to use an extra sniper just to have no deviation with temper then go and use that you get level two crit eye which that level two crit eye in the inga greaves does play a really huge role because that gives you 10 percent extra affinity meaning that you will get 50 percent affinity just by simply shooting the monster constantly and you get the other 50 percent affinity with the weakness exploit coming out to 100 percent affinity and you get level two recoil down and level one reload speed and we also have level one steadiness moving onwards though moving onwards though is going to be our last hbg build or actually not not our last hbg build our second to last hbg build i'm so sorry and this right here is going to be the spread hbg build and we are using the sinister dread volley which in my opinion is the second best heavy bow gun design in all of the series with number one being Kushala Deoris and what we get here is 255 raw and by the way I put power barrel on all of the builds uh I forgot to say that but yes power barrel is going to be put on all the builds this comes with wyvern snipe our build gets us to very fast reload low recoil and no deviation you have zero percent affinity and for the rampage slot we go attack boost three we get a two and a one slot which we will I will explain the jewels that you will need later. And for the build, we got the bear off, helm S, Rachna Mail, Chest, Thou Strax Braces, Arms, Rachna Coil, Waist, and Hunter Greaves S legs. For our Tempest Talisman, we got our handy dandy divine blessing level one, attack boost level two, with a three and a one slot. And for the for the decorations you will need two precise jewel twos to get level two ballistics for your spread uh for your spread shots to go farther you will need a total of three absorber jewels to get down to low recoil you need one attack jewel two you need three critical jewel twos one tenderizer jewel two and you will need a spread jewel three with a level one sniper so you can get i can actually see it so you can get no deviation and for the ammunition you actually get a lot of ammunition that you can use uh, you can use sticky ammo threes if you want to ko you can bring cluster bomb threes you can bring demon ammo to buff up your teammates which i do highly recommend you bringing in multiplayer hunts you have slicing ammos to cut off the tails and you can shoot it at average and fastest so it's not even that bad and then for the meat and potatoes of the build you can fire off red ammo threes low and fast and you get five shots so you don't actually need to raise the shot total and that is it on the build very very powerful one of my favorite one of my favorite heavy bow gun builds probably my second favorite to be honest but obviously the first favorite is the king of all heavy bowgun builds, the infamous sticky heavy bowguns. It, it, it's very interesting how stickies went from kind of a light bowgun thing in world to a heavy bowgun thing. I mean, I, obviously, you still had your heavy bowgun of the Rajang heavy bowgun or furious Rajang heavy bowgun back in world, but for most, uh, I believe most speed runs, people still just prefer the light bowgun over the heavy bow gun because it, you could shoot it fat like you could shoot stickies faster and with the slide reload it was just faster reloading instead of just having that slow reload on furious rajang's heavy bow gun but for this game in rise the rajang's rage or the rajang's heavy bow gun is going to be your best sticky bow gun and just your best sticky ammunition shooter in general of the whole game why because you have a whopping 258 attack you get negative 20% affinity, but that does not matter because you are not going to use any of that affinity with this build. 
you have a three slot. You get with the build, you get no deviation, very low recoil, fastest reload. We got power barrel on our mods. You get wyvern snipe as a special am am unit or a special ammo. For our rampage slots, we have sticky effect two, so we can get more stickies. I believe that's what it is. Uh, it doesn't tell me. Uh, yeah, it doesn't tell me the rampage slot info but i assume that sticky effect twos allow me to uh load up more stickies i want to say that anyways for our build or i guess for the ammunition you got sticky ammo ones which you're not going to use because your sticky ammo ones are going to feed into your sticky ammo threes which you can shoot at low and fastest you get four shots out of them your sticky ammo twos you get low and fastest which again you get Four shots out of your sticky ammo twos, which you should also bring your sticky ammo twos, just in case if you need to quickly swap between your threes because they ran out and you still need to keep the the fight like you know the damage going. Yeah, I got cluster bomb one, two, and threes. I honestly don't really like feed my cluster bomb ones into my threes because I really don't carry cluster ammunition because I just kind of use them just in case if the monster is on the ground. But you have that option. You have demon ammo to buff up your teammates. You have recovery ammo if you're a fan of that to heal your teammates. You got paralysis ammo ones to stun. And you got wyvern ammo to actually wyvern blast a monster while you are stun locking them with your stickies. You have so much ammunition that you can get through the whole hunt without actually having to restock on any fight besides maybe all mother narwa anyways we have the bear off we have the bear off helm s the rhinoplos mail s the anginath vambraces s the anginath coil s the basil juice greaves and our fatal tempest talisman is a spare shot level two with three level ones now i want to say the flawless decorations you can change for whatever you want so if you don't have the talisman and you need another slot to use for a quick load then feel free to use it if you just don't have this talisman at all and you have a quick a good quick load talisman then swap out the flawless jewels for the thrift jewels uh it's just in this build i went for the more damaging option to reach sticky cap and you know if you guys don't have the necessary talisman to help with this then just feel free to take off the peak performance anyways you will need two flawless jewel twos or for peak performance to reach sticky cap you need two sniper jewel ones so you have no recoil you need one attack jewel two. You need three absorber jewel ones to reach low. You need three quick load jewel ones to reach uh, fast reload. You need one thrift jewel two so you can have spare shot level three. And then you also need another attack jewel. So you need two attack jewels. My bad. You need two attack jewels so, uh, so you can reach max attack boost. And for our Fatal Tempest, uh, I already actually went over the Fatal Tempest Talisman. And you also get guards. So if, you re uh, if you're still a fan of like the shield, you at least get one level of guard and a level of offensive guard for what it's worth. And then you can also freely just change out the Flawless Jewels to guard if like guard jewels, if you really want to be defensive with it. So there's a lot of room for experimenting, but that is it for the builds. Uh, also, before I actually go, I would like to say with this build, you get attack boost seven if you have the armor and everything. Then you get attack boost seven, spare shot three, artillery three, reload speed three, recoil down three, peak performance two, slugger two, and steadiness two. And with all that being said, those are the best 
heavy bowgun builds before sunbreak uh please let me know what you think about them in the comments down below and be sure to like comment subscribe and share the video because it'll help me out if you do want to play with me go over to twitch.tv forward slash anime alx links will be down below in the description and with all that being said i hope you guys will check me out in the next one peace out all my fellow weebs and weebets